sebelum kejohanan untuk 2019 you tak nak kalah awal you kalau boleh nak pergi jauh so hari ni you buktikan you bukan saja dah mara ke separuh akhir you juga boleh kalahkan uh, top contender dalam uh, kejohanan so komen you lah tentang perlawanan ni uh, saya rasa first set dia nafsu sangat because dia uh, saya lama ini uh -huh. dia easy easy point easy point sikit lah kau tak kau tak ada ni susah nak nak main juga It, you sebelum lawan apa yang coach Sibok cakap sebab kalau nak ikutkan you sebagai underdog lah dia patient. semua underdog kena patient uh. patient saja um, bagi mereka macam pressure sikit lah mereka nak matikan cepat uh, uh, uh. macam tak mau kalah kan uh, just lucky lah awak rasa awak lucky masuk separuh akhir ke ataupun macam mana lucky kau tadi Tawan Taizing sama siapa pun mereka kalah juga Tadi pun hampir hampir kalah juga Mungkin crowd yang bagi semangat Kau main kat China susah nak cakap Anyway, uh, you mentioned earlier that you're a much mature player after the Youth Olympics and World Junior last year This tournament alone, you've already beaten the world number 5 World number 7 Next up, you're going to be up against the world number 8 You took one game from her at last year's Malaysia Masters You think you can do it again? Uh, I didn't think about last year because I'm a fan last year. He said I can run more than that. Um, just fight uh, without pressure. She's like world champion. Like definitely I can learn something from her. Uh. Yeah. Awak anggap diri awak sebagai giant killer kat sini? Siapa? Awak lah. Bukan. Bukan. Mana lagi yang menangkan. Tadi Yusip pun menangkan. Semua. Hmm. Tapi untuk awak secara pribadi, apa yang awak rasa bila menang dengan Robin Jam? Uh, uh, excited sangat lah. Because besok lagi ada match kan. Because until next year, bukan macam satisfied. Jimmy, you talk. You are lucky to get to this stage. But don't you think you are a really good player? I mean, not really. I just like return two or three, three top ten player. So like, if I can consistently make it into like quarter semi, that that just a like good player or consistent player. Okay, but performance wise, do you think you have like? Improve so much compared to last year. I mean, uh, you, you yeah. will know, right? You play. So far, so good. Like getting better every match, and hopefully, like next one, I can improve more. How much of a difference did the YUG and the Virginia win help you perform like this? How much of a difference did that? Uh, maybe when um, face some critical point, like you just calm down and don't get too nervous. Yeah. Maybe it boosts your confidence or not? Those two victories. Yeah, uh, my confidence is high, like not over, so that I can like play on the court like more excited. Yeah. Awak uh, memang ada terfikir boleh mara sejauh ni sebab kalau tengok first first match awak lawan yang mengucik awak pun rasa macam 50-50 lagi. Tapi awak pernah terfikir mara sejauh ini dalam Masters Malaysia? Tak, saya tengok first round saja saya pun tak tahu sekian ramai siapa kan. Then just uh, step by step. Jadi, um, you've beaten a bunch of top 10 players in this tournament. Beating a Binja was not your first time also, you know. Um, do you think you have somehow captured or you kind of know what it takes to be a top level player? And do you think you can reach that level? I think um, physical is the most important because like next week we're going to Indonesia and maybe first time I face her Binja again, like, uh, maybe the result is uh, big first. Yeah. So um, I think, yeah, consistent, consistency is what I say. Okay, okay, congratulations, congratulations. Yeah.